Hello, this short video is about faster image generation using an interesting new LoRa model that requires only 4 to 8 steps, sampling steps, instead of the usual 25 to 50 steps to produce complete detailed images. I think this is an important update because it has become possible for the first time to generate high quality images with a small number of sampling steps in stable diffusion. LCM LoRa does not require a special plug-in or installation. It can be used only using a normal LoRa model as we will explain in this video. We will explain how to use this LoRa in terms of settings, its limitations, and its uses. Now, the latent consistency models or LCM are trained in a different way than normal LoRa models, which allows to infer images faster. To download the latent consistency model LoRa's, we come to the Hugging Face official account, okay, and we can download models for SD 1.5 and the LoRa model for SDXL. These are just normal LoRa models. We just come here, click here, files and versions. We come to this file and click on this arrow here, download, save as. We save it just like any other LoRa model. So in a stable diffusion, models, LoRa folder, we just give it a name such as LC, LCM, SD 1.5, for example, okay? And if we want to download the SDXL, we come to the SDXL, again, files and versions, and download the SDXL LoRa model and store it in the same location. So these are just normal uh, LoRa models. Now we come to automatic 11.11 and just gen generate uh, a prompt, for example. Now, for example, if you want to generate this simple picture, now normally we would generate this with 25 sampling steps to 55 sampling steps. If you want to generate a high resolution image such as 1024, now the same methodology applies for SDXL, nothing changes on automatic 11.11 or on Confi UI. Now, if you want to generate this picture, which is a very high resolution, for example, my graphics card is 3070, it takes a while to generate this picture, okay? So initially it took uh, 21 seconds to generate the 25 steps. So we can see that it took approximately 21 seconds, 22 seconds uh, to generate these 25 steps. Now, the quality of the image is good. However, when we want to apply this LoRa, we can come to the LoRa. We don't need to install any plugins or change anything. You can change the uh, from the settings, for example, if you want to display the LoRa in this location. You can come to, come to the user interface and add SD LoRa, for, for instance, SD LoRa. This one here. If you want to display uh, a drop down box here where you can select the LoRa, but you don't need to. You just go to the LoRa section. We just search for LCM. This is the 1.5, so I'll be using it. Just add it to the end, just like any other normal LoRa. However, however, here we now we need to put something between four to eight sampling steps based on the guide of the latent consistency LoRa model. This is four to eight steps. So what I will be doing is something like, let's do something like five. And we can use a low CFG scale. Now for this LoRa model to work, it should be between one and two. Okay, so if we want to use 1.5, we can come here and see the generation. Now, so there's no acceleration happening here. Okay, it's just that we are only generating five sampling steps. Okay, so even with five sampling steps, the image generated is of high quality. Now generate another one, for example, we can see here it took three seconds, there it took 20, 22 seconds. So we can see that the number in terms of number of iterations, nothing has changed because this model, this lower model does not accelerate stable diffusion. It's just able to generate pictures with a smaller number of steps. That is it, okay? Now, if we use a small number of sampling steps such as five and increase the CFG scale to four, to four for example, something uh, more than two, we get a bad image. So this, the optimal number uh, CFG scale value is one to two based on the official guide. If we want to increase this value, then we should decrease this value, okay, here. So we should decrease the weight. For example, if you want to use eight, we can use something like 0 0.5, okay, and produce amazing quality results only using five sampling steps. This can also be used with image to image. If we want to use the after detailer, okay, we should also duplicate the LoRa inside the after detailer. So we can put the name of the face, for example. Now, this is an example of using after detailer as well. We can see that the after detailer must also include the LoRa model in order to produce 
the phase even using five sampling steps. When we try to use control net, okay, we used pixel perfect and we used normal maps. Now, not all, all control nets will achieve the same results. Some control nets I tested, for example, the open pose, it does not work so great with this, uh, with this methodology using smaller number of steps because control net often needs uh, more, more steps in order to take control of the generation process. Now, this is another example. This is another picture and we generate this picture. So using normal maps, normal map produces acceptable results. Now it's useful to note that the, uh, the latent consistency collection also includes a dream shaper version, which is version seven incorporated with LCM. So we can download this model a lot separately and use the same uh, things that we do normally. This is with for SD 1.5 without the use of LoLa, so this will be like a full model, but it's trained with LCM, so we can generate uh, we can generate images with lower number of sampling steps. So we can come to the Dream Shaper version 7 and download it just like any other model to the location of stable diffusion models. Uh, I hope this video was useful and uh, have a good day.